Hi, in this short tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use the OpenAI integration inside Rose to automate a lot of the SEO tasks and help you get work done faster. So the first thing that you'll have to do is connect the OpenAI integration. If we head out here to integrations and start typing OpenAI, you'll see it here. And the only thing you need to do is add the integration and copy paste your API keys. If you don't have API keys or if you don't have an OpenAI account, you can create yours here. We'll direct you to the page. You can log in and get access to a free API key that then you can use inside the rows. And essentially, after you connect it, you have the power of ChatGPT and OpenAI directly inside the spreadsheet through a lot of the formulas and actions that I'll show you in, in just about a minute. If we go back to our spreadsheet, then SEO and automating a lot of this work starts from generating blog post ideas, generating meta descriptions, outlines of blog posts, all the way until optimization of keywords and translation of keywords. So let's do a little bit of that. Right? Let's say that I want to create five blog post ideas for a blog post about vegan dog food. Right? So the first thing I want to do is go to actions. This is where you can explore all of the different things that you can import into rows from the different integrations that we have all the way into these AI actions. And so I'll just come here and do solve with AI. You'll see here that we have the different actions that you can use AI for. And one of them is to create lists of data, which is the one that we will use. So we'll just type here on the prompt blog post ideas for vegan, vegan dog food, dog food. And we say that we want five ideas here. This will take a few seconds because it's getting the data in real time. And of course, it will depend how fast the model and the response is right now. But once this data is in, it will add it to the bottom of the spreadsheet and you can continue your work. So you see here, it generated these five ideas, the benefits of a vegan dog for diets, how to transform your dog into the vegan diet. So things that I might want to use, or at least a good starting point for me to start exploring it. And now since this is in a spreadsheet, I can do a lot of things that I would use a spreadsheet for, calculating the number of characters of this, like seeing how, how big this title is, does it match what I'm typically looking for, et cetera. Right? So this would be one way, helping you generate blog post ideas. But let's say that you already have titles of the blog posts that you want to explore, and you want help generating a draft for a meta description. This is another way that we can use OpenAI for. In this case, we're not using the create lists action, but we're actually using the generic ask OpenAI function where you can pass it any prompt into the function. And basically it is as if you were just talking inside ChatGPT, but with the benefit of combining the spreadsheet flexibility in it. So you can reference cells, you can combine different formulas to make your prompt more complete and more dynamic as well. And so in this case, what we're doing is we're saying, you know, the prompt is a concatenation of generate the meta description for a post and referencing the post title. So that if I drag this down to this list of blog posts, it will do exactly the same thing to my other blog posts. And now it's gonna give me a good working draft for the meta description. Here it is for a blog post title. Obviously then I can tweak it, shorter it, uh, increase its size, but you have a working description here. And it's exactly the same thing if you wanna automate other things inside these blog posts. If, so if now I want to generate an outline for, for the blog post, all I have to do is copy the formula, paste it here, but instead of a description, I'll just put a blog post outline for a post titled A2. And now it will be loading because it's gonna get the data from OpenAI and now it will paste here the outline of the blog post and not just the title, right? Obviously we know that these are not gonna be the final outline or the final meta description in most cases, but it's a good starting point to start using this and to start automating some some of the work. Some of the prompts will take a bit longer, others will be shorter, but you can do anything else that you want in the background, move to new spreadsheets, connect integrations, create new tables, all while the data is, is loading, right? You'll always see the working screen here at the bottom. So you see, now we created the outline here, introduction, health benefits, environmental benefits, ethical benefits, etc. So you can see how you basically now have a, at least a good structure to get started with. And same as before, I can drag this down as well. And now, you know, one of the most common ways of SEO as well is around translation, translating keyword, understanding what keyword should I target in different geographies that works for SEO for, for paid as well. For that, we have a specific action for translating. In this case, if you start typing translate OpenAI, you see that you can use OpenAI to translate as well. And this is what we're doing here to translate keywords. So if I have these keywords in English and I want to translate it to Spanish, Japanese, and Arabic, I can just use this formula here. Right? So translate A2 
into the language Spanish, Japanese, or Arabic. And now I'll also drag this down and you'll see that after a few seconds, it basically translated all of these keywords that now I can use in the different blog posts or in this case, if it was a performance campaign as well, kind of blending SEO with paid. Right? And the final way that a lot of businesses use OpenAI inside roles is to generate keywords or get initial ideas of keywords as well. So it also uses the same logic of the meta description and that, that sort of automation. So in this case, if the topic is vegan dog food, and if I have informational keywords, transactional keywords, navigational keywords, commercial keywords, all I have to do is similar to before I'm using, I'm asking OpenAI to generate a list of five transactional keywords and then passing on the topic, right? So the same thing, if I now want navigational keywords, I'll just move this to navigational keywords. And now after a few seconds, I'll get these keywords as well. Right? And if I expand, you see here it is. If I expand the topics here, then I would also be able to expand the keywords and have this working list of ideas. Yeah. So these are just a few ways that you can start using OpenAI for SEO and other marketing tasks. As always, you can come here to action, solve with AI, and get here a bit of inspiration of the type of things that you can use OpenAI for. If you want additional documentation and additional guides here inside the question mark, if you go to our documentation hub and type OpenAI, you'll see all of our guides on how to use OpenAI inside Growth for a lot of different things from classifying customer feedback, cleaning up data, or keyword research and SEO sentiment analysis. This is it. Thank you so much and good luck.